Welcome my Xtubers, YouTube Killer here, and today I'm doing a special hair tutorial for INU. Uh, this is actually one of my coolest little tricks, and I thought I'd share it with y'all, so maybe you can give it a try. But, um, last time I did a hair tutorial, it was silent, so this time you actually get to actually see it a little bit better since my old recorder blocked the screen. So what you want to do now, first is you want to go, of course, open up GIMP, or... And what you want to do, go to File, go to New. All hairstyles are going to be 250 by 250. So put that in. Alright, so now you see right there we got our little 250 box. That'll be your hair texture. Um, some people like to start with white. I actually start with a black background. So I'm going to come over here, go to fill in make it black go to brush um let's see what color do I want to go with I'll probably do you know I'm gonna go with my purple all right so first of all there's no really secret to this how to do this basically what I'll do is I'll take and just just rub around a little bit like that and then just keep changing colors just kind of go dark a little bit go light a little bit go dark a little bit come on yeah my mouse is broke so it's gonna fucking be a bitch doing it like this but you'll get the picture of it once it's done and then we'll go with a little lighter purplish pink <clears throat> come on now this is just an example I'm not trying to be a perfectionist here but this piece of shit. Alright. And we'll go one more dark purple. Really dark purple. Just to fill it in a little bit. And just keep rubbing it up. You know, just go zigzag. You know, just. You know, there's nothing special about it. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to go to filters. Go down to filters. You'll see where it says noise. Go to spread. You'll get a box that comes up. You know, you, there's your preview box. Um, you want to you want to actually match the size of the texture here. So 250 by 250. Then press OK. Do it again. And usually I do it three times, but sometimes I'll go with four. Just And then what you want to do, you want to kind of just fill in all the black spots. Yeah, that should be doing it. Okay, so we're going to go to Blur under Filters. Um, motion Blur. Alright, so what you want to do here is you want to go with Length, uh, the, you know, the 250. And your Angle, you want to go with 90. Oops, went too far. Alright. Now, if you've seen IMVU and then you're looking at there, you'll actually not recognize that actually would actually look like a hair texture. But it's just not done yet. So what we're going to do is going to go back to filters, go to enhance, sharpen. Uh, usually I go with about a 50, just to even it out. You see how it gives it actually little lines and stuff right there. Like a, you know, like strands of hair. Alright, so that part's done. Now, what you want to do now is you want to go up to layer, new layer, uh, transparency. You want to keep that all the same. Click OK. Now, there's two ways you could do this. Uh, you could either use a white for like a shine, but me, I've got a, my own little thing I do where I'm actually going to pick a lighter color, almost like a whitish pink. Like that, and I'm gonna go okay. Uh, let's see how I want to do this this time because this mouse is screwed up, it's gonna take me a little while, but we'll make the best of it. No, I'll go about 60. Uh, okay, we'll go with about two or nine. So, what you want to do is you want to start, you want to kind of eyeball it how it would look on you know an IMV screen. 
So you want to go right about here. And what you want to do, as you see I'm doing, is you want to make little zigzags. And I usually go with, I try to do about three. Roughly three. Um, yeah, that's, that's about right, yeah. Alright, so now you want to go to filters, go back to blur, go to garrison, I guess goose and blur, I can't pronounce some of this shit. Oh, let's see, how far do I want to go? Oh, let's see, okay, that's too much. We'll go about there, let's see how that looks. Okay, there we go. Now, it does kind of look all shitty and blurry now, but we're going to fix that. Go to Windows, wait, yeah, yeah, go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, come over here to where you see Layers, or you can hit Control and L, bring this little box over here. Now what you want to do is you want to lock the bottom, come up here, but you want to right click. No, no you don't. You go to Mode, as long as you got the eyeball showing, that's what you're previewing. Go to Mode. Overlay. Now you see how it actually gave it like a little, like a exotic. I don't know what you would call it, but it, you know it kind of shines it up a little bit. It doesn't look so bland and dull now. We're almost there. All right, so we're gonna do another one, another layer, new layer. Okay. Now as I'm doing that, I'm gonna go to merge down with that one, and all you gotta do is put, click on the middle one or whatever one has the eyeball. And just go up here and you'll see merge down. And all that does is sets it up for your next one. So now we got that ready. So we're going to go back up to this one. Alright, so this time I'm going to drop the scale size just a little bit more. And this time I am going to go with a little bit of white. And I really want a small, small squiggly line here. Just like that, and just especially that first layer sets you up for this one, as you see here. And you basically just try to stay in the the crease that you made earlier. All right, so you're gonna do the same thing. Go to filters, blur. Whoops, whoops, no, no, wrong blur, wrong, wrong blur. Now this time you don't want to uh, drop it as much, so I would go with, we'll go with about a 13. Alright, go back up to here, um, layers, we'll go to mode, and let's see, um, no. bingo. That's how you would create any color. What you want to do is you want to go with a darker color. If you're going to go with a darker color, do your scenes like that. You want to go with a little bit lighter color. And what it'll do is it'll actually show you how to glow, make a glow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video right here. And I'm going to get on IMD real quick and I'm going to upload my hair for you. So give me a few minutes. Alright, sorry about that. I had to pull everything up. Alright, so right here, I'm already got everything set up. So, all I want to do is I want to go down here. And what you want to do is you want to go to the shop right here. Uh, browse the catalog. Uh, it'll show uh, clothing. Go to hair. Uh, find a hair that's derivable. And all you'll do is once you find a hair where it says that right there. Scroll down, and you'll say derive, derive from product. Click on it. <clears throat> I haven't created it in a while, so my shit's all down. Uh. Oh shit, yeah, it might help if I save. So while we're waiting on that. We'll go ahead and save. Mm. 
what I want to save as. Uh, we'll go to desktop. Uh, we'll just go with hair. Okay. Uh, if you look on the map, it'll actually show you the different layers you can work with, where you can actually change the hair colors and stuff. But me, I'm just going with one flat base color, so I'm not going for all that. Which I can do it. I'm just, I'm just showing you how to do the actual texture itself. Alright, you'll go to where it says texture right here. And where I got the edit and apply changes. Oh, so this is a multi layer. Okay, so if you want to make, well, this hair here, you can actually add different colors. So I do actually have to fill them all in. And there we go. So, actually, decent purple hair. I've actually done darker than that, but like I said, I was not aiming to go into full detail. But I showed you a couple of tricks. But you see how it's got the little right there? It's got the little glow to it. And I didn't pick the best of hairs to to do this with, but you can actually see. You can actually still look and see where the shine parts are. But you can add more and more shine to it. You just you know, you go you go up or you can go down with it. It's up to you. But yep, guys, that's part one of uh, different hair colors we're gonna create for IMV. But this will be almost like a great purple, gothic purple, I guess. Anyways, y'all have a good night, and I hope to see you soon. Good night.